we're here in Mankato. We're going to head out to uh, third day of our first bike tour of 2022. We're going to head back to Faribault. So it looks like a beautiful day for us today after a little rain yesterday. Uh, come along for our last day and join us. A little walk a bike, start off the trip. Cuts a little distance off, what the heck. Well, we're gonna take a bit of a detour here. They had a, uh, a net across the uh, closed bike trail today, so. Well, here we join up with the uh, Sakata Hills, Singing Hills bike trail. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but there's a noticeable difference in two days. I can actually see green up there in the canopy. Things are starting to bud out. Well, it wasn't so obvious going from Madison Lake to Mankato that it was downhill, but definitely can feel that it's a uh, uphill all the way from Mankato to Madison Lake. Plus we got a little bit of a headwind into us. I'm hoping it doesn't get any stronger. Rolling into Madison Lake here, the outskirts. Well, I'm not sure if Madison Lake is like the high point or not, or Lesion is, or maybe about the same, but the trail's nice and uh, been a bit downhill. Now we're going a little uphill, but uh, rolling along pretty nicely. And we're in the trees, which helps with the wind. Well, we're entering into Waterville here, uh, 22 miles. I think it's about 17 from here to the uh, trailhead, about probably 18. We decided to divert from the trail and go into the town of Waterville. We hadn't been there for a few years, so to check it out. Waterville Cafe is now a Mexican restaurant. After 
after wandering through the town of Waterville, we headed to the bike trail again and then on to Sakata Lake State Park. Well, we're back here in Morristown, the uh, Cannon River with the Camp Maiden Rock on this side and then Maiden Rock East, uh, West is on the other side. But I tell you the second part of the story I told you on the way out. Uh, we had a tornado touchdown. We were camped here about a mile away. Kept us up most of the night. Next day, kids were playing in the pool. And then we gathered them up and went to a church over in Waterville. And it, as we got out of church, it was starting to storm again, big thunderstorms. And on the way back, there was a big uh, flash of lightning and clap of thunder at the same time. And out popped a big deer in front of our car out of the cornfield when we were going about 60 miles an hour and just hit it straight on, knocked it down, ran over it and killed it. Uh, we called that good old caprice of ours, the deer slayer from then on. It was a fun weekend. <laughs> As we were taking a break in the picnic shelter, we found, saw two barn swallows that were working in tandem to kind of keep an eye on us over their nest. I had the feel for this guy that had his line tangled up in that tree. We've all done it. It was good to see the farmers getting into the fields after a wet spring. Just like on our way out, we did have to ride a little bit on the highway, but we were able to keep to the bike path. They had cut away some of the curbing, so we just went around that. Highway 60 is a very busy highway, so it's nice to stay off it, even though it does have a good shoulder. Well, our first tour is in the books of 2022. A nice uh, two-night, three-day ride from here in Faribault to Mankato and a loop around there on the uh, Sakata Singing Hills Trail. We parked here at the trailhead with no problem. You know, I always call the police in the, the towns we're going to park in and ask them where to park. Uh, give them my car information so they can check on it. So far, it's been a good thing to do. Uh, we're planning probably three more tours this year. Hopefully they'll be good like this one. Thanks for joining us on this one and look, hope to have you come on the other ones with us. So thanks for watching. After a successful first bike touring trip of the year, we decided some A&W was in order. And boy, a root beer float sure tasted good.
What a wonderful last day we had to finish up our three-day tour, opening tour of the year. I just encourage you to, if you want to do some bike touring, just pick a site that's close to home, go for a night or two and give it a try. It's so much fun. So the Sakata Singing Hills Trail is a wonderful trail. The DNR of Minnesota has fixed it up so that it is really a nice trail. Thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment below and subscribe so you can stay current with our adventures.